Hey campers, welcome to the Gardening Skill Group. Today is day one, and today we are going to make our own watering cans. So to do this, you need an old either soda bottle or water bottle. This is an old soda bottle that I emptied out and I cleaned out really well. Now for most of this skill group for today, we're going to need our parents to help us out a lot, okay? As you can see, I've decorated my bottle, and you can do that yourself. You can um, just take some acrylic paint and paint it however you want. I like flamingo, so I made this a flamingo. But I have some holes here at the top of my water bottle, and I need my parents' help to help me with that because it's going to be really complicated and a little dangerous, so we need your parents to do that for you. So for this, you're going to need this bottle here, and I'm going to use my feet as a bit of a vise to keep my bottle stable, okay? And I'm going to have this nail. You might want to try to find a nail that's a little bit longer than this one. This is just the only one I had. And I'm going to take these pliers to hold my nail steady. So I'm going to stick it in there about halfway. So I still have control over the nail. But then also some of the nail sticks out so I can pierce it through. And we're going to use this lighter to heat up the nail because it will go easier into the plastic. And then I'm going to take this hammer after I heat up the nail and I'm going to drive the nail into the side of the top of the bottle. You want to keep the holes on this top side here. You don't want them too far down and you don't want them in the top. And we're going to be able to squeeze the water out when we have the holes on this top side. So I'm going to make sure my nail is in the right place. I'm going to go ahead and use my lighter and just heat up the tip of the nail. You only have to do it for a few seconds. It doesn't need to be smoldering. It just helps you go through the plastic a little bit easier, but you still definitely need the hammer. So then I'm going to try to hold it as steady as I can here. I'm going to nail it into the plastic. And the great thing about holding on to the nail with the pliers is it's easier to yank out after you're done. Just like that. So you're going to do that a few more times until you have about five or six holes. Then after you have all the holes in the top of your bottle, you can decorate it. And then when you want to test it out on a plant, you can just squeeze the water out like this. But the great thing is it will only drip if you don't do that. So you can have a nice controlled stream of water. Now that you've made your watering can, you'll be all set for the rest of our skill group activities this week.